Say we have fluorine 19, and I want to know how many protons, neutrons, and electrons. The only difference now is we need to look at the periodic table to figure out how many protons fluorine has. So we'll still do protons first. And if we look down here in the periodic table, we can find sulfur, I'm sorry, fluorine, and we see this 9 there. And that 9 above fluorine is the atomic number or the number of protons. So now we have our atomic number. And now we have all the information we had before with our longer version of isotope notation. Okay, next, how many electrons does this guy have? Well, it's neutral, so it has to have the same number of protons and electrons, so it's 9. Finally, neutrons. Remember, to get neutrons, we subtract the mass number, or we subtract protons from the mass number. And the mass number in this case is 19. That's always what we're listing after we say an isotope. So fluorine 19 has a mass number of 19. So all we do is 19, the total number of things in the nucleus, minus the number of protons in the nucleus, 9, and that's going to give us 10. And that's how many neutrons are in our nucleus. So even with the shorthand of isotope notation, it's easy to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons, and the only real difference is, is now we have to take a look at the periodic table. That does it for this episode of Real Chemistry. Thanks for watching. Please leave any questions below. Subscribe to receive updates about future videos. And as always, you can visit my channel to see what videos I've already made.